Hi, I'm Ksenia Turkova. In this video, I'm going to talk about the Nobel uh, Prize Committee decision. Uh, you know that uh, the Nobel Peace Prize was awarded uh, on Friday to human rights uh, activists from Russia, from Belarus and from Ukraine. Uh, the activists who have become symbols, as they say uh, in the Nobel Prize Committee, of resistance and accountability during the largest ground war in Europe since World War II, set off by Russia's invasion of Ukraine. So there are three uh, laureates. Uh, the Russian organization called Memorial, uh, the Center of Civil Liberties in Ukraine, and uh, Alice Bilatsky, a jailed uh, Belarusian activist uh, from uh, the Human Rights Center uh, Vesna. Uh, so I will tell you a couple of words about each of this, uh, these organizations uh, or activists, and then I will explain why I do think that this decision was controversial. And in Ukraine, they see it uh, as a controversial decision. Uh, so uh, first of all, I will talk about uh, Memorial. Uh, this uh, human rights center uh, is uh, documenting the crimes uh, and atrocities of Stalin era. Uh, they are analyzing all the materials. They were, I, I have to talk about them in the past tense because this organization, unfortunately, uh, several months ago uh, was uh, liquidated in Russia. Uh, they were always persecuted, they were always under the pressure, not always, but the, uh, recently, the last several years, uh, and the Russian government didn't like what they did, uh, because, uh, you know, now in Russia, they have some kind of uh, Stalin Renaissance, uh, and uh, they actually never admitted all those crimes, they never talked about uh, that uh, publicly and uh, there are still monuments to Stalin and there are more and more monuments to, uh, of Stalin uh, actually in Russia. Now, <clears throat> as far as I know, 150 or even more. The Russian government didn't like uh, what Memorial did. Uh, and uh, finally, they ended up uh, being liquidated, uh, unfortunately, as a lot of uh, human rights organization in Russia. Uh, Memorial organization uh, definitely deserves this award. They they did a lot for human rights, uh, they uh, documented a lot of information about Stalin era, about war in Chechnya, and they were documenting uh, human rights violations uh, in, uh, um, in nowadays Russia, uh, which is very important. Uh, the second uh, laureate uh, is uh, Alice Bilatsky, as I have already mentioned, uh, the jailed Belarusian activist. Uh, from the Human right, uh, Rights uh, Center Visna. Uh, this Human Rights Center is very famous in Belarus and uh, their main mission is help. Uh, they help uh, the victims of political repressions in Belarus uh, and uh, they help their families. They also analyze the laws, uh, they monitor the elections uh, and uh, the protest, um, uh, the mass protests in Belarus. Uh, but most of all, they help uh, those who suffered from political uh, repressions. Uh, and now we see that uh, they suffered themselves. Uh, Alesia uh, Bilatsky is a political prisoner uh, in Belarus. Uh, and uh, finally, uh, the Center of Civil Liberties in Ukraine, uh, the organization uh, that was uh, created by Alexandra Matvichuk, uh, the human rights activist in 2007. Uh, they uh, monitor and they analyze uh, the laws uh, from the point of view of um, uh, human rights. And uh, they did uh, a very important investigation uh, of the crimes uh, committed during uh, Maidan, Yevra Maidan. Uh, it's a revolution of dignity. They also were documenting, uh, the, and they, they still, they keep documenting uh, the persecutions and uh, the human rights uh, violations in the occupied Crimea and uh, the human rights violations and uh, military crimes uh, in the occupied uh, Donbass. So all of them, as I have already said, they really deserve this award. But why uh, did I say in the beginning that this decision is controversial? Uh, yes, it seems controversial for many people in Ukraine for two reasons. So first of all, uh, they don't like that they united three countries uh, to give them this, uh, that award. 
uh, because it fits Putin's narrative, one of the main Putin's uh, propaganda con concepts, uh, the concept of brotherly nations, that there is some uh, Slavic, uh, Slavic unity, like Belarus, uh, Ukraine, and Russia, and they're always together, they are brothers, uh, they have almost the same language, although it's not true, but it's one of the narratives of Russian propaganda. And uh, they, they're always together, you can't separate them. They have the same roots, uh, and uh, that's all, uh, all that stuff that uh, Putin's propaganda uh, tells uh, people, uh, because they don't want to accept the identity of uh, each of the post-Soviet uh, country. Uh, and the second reason, it's also about identity, actually, the second reason. So the first one was that it fits uh, Russian propaganda very, very well. And the second reason is uh, related uh, to uh, point of view of the Western countries. So that award for a lot of people is one more sign that for the Western countries, we are still uh, some kind of package, post-Soviet package. Russians, Belarusian, uh, Belarusians, Ukrainians, Kazakhstan, uh, and so on. So all those post-Soviet countries go in package. We don't have uh, their identity. And uh, for a lot of people, it's a sign of that. Let's put them all together. It's almost the same. Of course, it was not intentionally. And I'm sure that in the Nobel Prize Committee, they didn't think that way. But maybe they did it subconsciously, uh, which is not uh, very good either. That's why people in Ukraine are irritated. The main emotion, I would say, uh, is uh, irritation. They are not uh, angry, they are not mad, they are not outraged, but they are irritated. They are very happy for their center of, uh, for civil liberties, very happy. Uh, and it's uh, their first Nobel Peace Prize. Uh, and actually they are happy for memorial organization, they are happy for Belarusian colleagues, uh, and the center for civil liberties in Ukraine, they used to work with memorial. Uh, but they don't like the fact they put them all together because it's not a good moment uh, for putting uh, together uh, one country that is a victim and two countries that are um, who are aggressors actually uh, not those activists of course but the countries uh, so that's uh, these are the two reasons i would say uh, people people don't like uh, this decision they, they do not agree uh, um, with how it was done. They agree that all those people, again, deserve, do deserve that prize, but they do not agree with how it was done. I hope I uh, was able to <laughs> explain my thoughts uh, and explain uh, the thoughts uh, of uh, a lot of my Ukrainian friends. Thank you. And don't forget to like and subscribe.